Coach Eric, happy Friday. <clears throat> you can guess, uh, damn it, I just showed the label. I was going to say if you can guess this, but there's no guessing now. He's doing like a weird sponsorship with uh, Dr. Pepper. I'm not that big time. Come just, on, now. just kidding, just kidding. Comment below if you guys uh, like Diet Pepper, if you like Diet Sprite, you like uh, Coke Zero, whatever. Coke Zero, whatever it is. Yeah. Comment below though what you yeah. guys like. What's going on, guys? Got Instagram up there, so hopefully everyone is doing well. Okay, so we're gonna talk about today on Friday. We're gonna try to make this under five minutes because we ramble a lot. Okay, but I want to talk about a pitfall that health and fitness coaches do, right? And this one is they're neglecting their peace of mind. The reason why this kind of sparked um, to, to discuss this during the live call is we just actually got off a podcast interview. So we were on Will Grazion's uh, podcast, and he's just an amazing guy. He's uh, He owns a company, The Educated Dieter. He's been in the game for about 10 years. you know. So we built a great relationship with him. We we're on his podcast. So we had a really good discussion. And you know, one of the things he said was just, uh, focus comes um, in peace or you find focus in peace. And I was just like, wow, like, damn, that was good. good. You know, like you find focus in peace. And I think a lot of health and fitness coaches, you know, um, we're going hundred miles per hour, right? Just from like, whether you're, you're training people in person, I mean, like you're, you're even a nutrition consultant or a registered dietitian and you're in person with these clients. Um, you're communicating uh, with them offline, through through phone, through Zoom, online, whatever it is. You got your own workouts in. You're trying to build your business. You're trying to create content. You're trying to consume. You're trying to live your normal life. <laughs> I mean, man, just think about that. It's a laundry list and it's exhausting, right? To where it's like, where do you find this peace of mind as a health and fitness professional, right? Or because, the quote unquote balance. Yeah, because like I remember we were health and fitness coaches as well too. And like that was one of the things we preached too was just like, you know, peace of mind, right? Outside of like your, your health and fitness journey. So it's like, you know, now that the, the, the roles are reversed, like we're helping health and fitness coaches, you know, it's kind of like, man, like you got to think about that, right? And it's like, where does the peace of mind come into where like literally you have peace to be able to focus, right? And we've talked about this before. We talk about this with our accelerator students. We hammer at home like, man, if there's no focus in your business, you're not going to get shit done. You're not going to move that needle forward in the business. You're not. And that's why what we do is we do six to eight week scale plans. We don't do 90 days. We don't do 120 days. We don't do six months. It's literally six to eight weeks of laser focus, like intentional work to move the money and meaning needle forward in your business, right? Because if we don't do it that way, there's no way that we're going to find focus with all the, the stuff going on that I said, right? So I don't know if you want to add to that. I don't know where I'm going with this, yeah. you know, but it's just a good discussion. Yeah, no, no, no. It's And I think um, some stuff to add in is like if you guys are kind of like lacking that focus, you guys are lacking that piece, right? Um, really do a deep dive and, and reflect, especially right now as, as we're going towards the tail end of the year. That's time. That's that's a good time to self-reflect on like many areas, whether it's like your, your finances, your relationships, personal, health-wise, uh, vision-wise, goal-wise, right? Those are all pillars you guys can focus on right now to, you know, recollect and re-just kind of like reevaluate, you know, what worked in 2021, what didn't. So, you know, if, if it's peace of mind, if it's if it's lack of focus, right, then you guys have to call yourselves out on that. You have to have that uncomfortable conversation, which generally that's always going to lead to growth. It's very tough to do that. But once we start having those uh, uncomfortable conversations with ourselves and we really do a deep dive and look at ourselves in the mirror and like, man, check ourselves. Like we're doing this wrong. Why aren't we, why aren't we doing this right? You know, I know what I should be doing, but I'm not doing it. So that's what you have to do right now, you know, and maybe it's, it starts with like your environment. Maybe it's people yeah. you're hanging out with. Maybe yeah. it's coworkers, maybe it's family, right? Maybe it's like peers. Maybe it's, it's a, it's a girlfriend, boyfriend, maybe it's your marriage. Maybe something's just like very toxic. And again, if you're going to be in those type of environments, what do you think that's going to do? It's going to clog that focus and that creativity. You're not going to find peace of mind in those in those um, arenas. So maybe also too another example is maybe it's the place that you live, yeah. right? So maybe you live somewhere where there is no peace of mind. Maybe there isn't like a belonging community, right? There's three B's to a belonging community. It's belong, uh, believe, and become, right? So you got to be around people that are going to push you. Um, you know, just have your best interests. And, you know, uh, that's another thing. So maybe that's what's leading to that lack of focus and, and lack of peace of mind. So those are two examples, guys. I don't want to go too deep into it, but, you know, just really kind of have that conversation. Is it maybe, you know, the environment I'm living in? Maybe it's the people I'm surrounding myself in. And how can I sit there and create more focus and peace of mind going into 2022? Yeah. And just something really quick to hit on what Eric said about the environment. What up, Raylan? Right? <laughs> Whether it's like your surroundings or it's like where you live, right? 
that's that it's it's huge right because for us when we lived in los angeles for seven years guys there was no freaking peace of mind out there in los angeles i'm sorry you know and no offense to all the people that are listening if they're from la but man there ain't no fucking peace of mind in la so as soon as we moved out here to dallas texas like the past like year our business has literally had the best year ever right and I think that has to do with something with peace of mind and focus. I really do, you know, because we've been in business for over 10 years, right? So it's like, we know kind of like, you know, the ups and downs business brings. And I really, really think that focus and having peace of mind is a key element that people don't like to talk about, right? But it's probably something you're ne neg neglecting as a health and fitness coach. So right. something to consider in these next two weeks as we wrap up 2021, just be selfish, man. And just like, you know, take like a full day to yourself or take a half day and just go somewhere that's out of your normal habitat, normal environment, and just do a brain dump and a recap of everything that you did pros and cons, like lessons learned, wins, you know, um, dream, like what do you want to do in 2022? Your wishes, like personal, business-wise, don't be afraid and be selfish to do that type of stuff. It's only going to help you out in 2022. Yeah. I'll leave you guys with this, right? So really take this into consideration. Like I talked about, maybe you're, you're lacking peace of mind and lack of focus because of the environment you're in, right? Maybe it's where you live. So take this into consideration. When you're in the right place with the right people in the right time, the right things happen in your life, okay? And that's something that a lot of us don't sit there and we're not taught that and we don't see that, right? Because we don't have, you know, we, we think differently and we're, we have a cap on our thinking and that's what you guys got to start thinking about. It's like, you know, maybe if I'm in the right place at the right time with the right people, the right things will start happening in my life. Yeah. Man, I feel like fire right here on Coach Eric's shoulders right here. If I had water, I'd pour on him, but it's a uh, Dr. Pepper and he'd probably punch me in the face right there. But yeah, that's it, guys. Um, so think about that pitfall as a health and fitness coach. Your peace of mind, right, leads to focus. Uh, no calls to actions. I don't got anything for you guys. So if you, this was inspiring, if it was value, tag somebody in it, um, share this post. I mean, that's really it, guys. But other than that, though, have a great weekend and Merry Christmas coming soon. Talk to you guys soon. soon.